Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers. Mayanna here with Heartwood Art, and this is part five in the final installment of our pallet board crate build series. In part one, we took our measurements and we cut our plywood for the top and bottom. In part two, we added the rails to the top and bottom plywood. In part three, we added the upright supports and did a little sanding. In part four, we added the slats to the side and the back and built the door. And in part five today, we'll be adding the casters and shoring up the bottom and testing it out. So let's get started. Well, okay, now it's time to mount wheels on this thing because it's heavy and I want to be able to move it around. So of course, this is the bottom of the kennel. And this is a really thin piece of scrap plywood that I use for this. And I said, you know, to be able to mount these lag bolts for these rollers on here, the casters on there, I'm going to have to put a block on it anyway. Why don't I just make use of all the scrap that I've got left here from the pallet wood and shore up the bottom of this thing a little bit. So I'm going to come in, oh, probably less than half an inch around each edge here and then put one across the middle too. And that'll make this a lot stiffer. Now, I will be using glue to attach it, and because I've got so much glue to spread, I'm going to try this little popsicle stick to help me do that. I think that'll be fine. And then while the glue is drying, I'm going to use one and a quarter inch brad nails, and that's going to go all the way through this board and just into not even quite half of this plywood. For that, it's really just going to tack it more than anything, but it definitely won't come all the way through because we don't want puppy paws uh, getting pricked by those nails, right? Now, for the wheels, I decided you could actually use one-inch wheels. They're going to carry plenty of weight load for this. But I have these nice two-inch wheels uh, that have the kind of rubber that don't mark the floor, which I like very much. And, of course, they have stops on it because I don't want this thing rolling while the dog's getting in and out of it. So a two-inch wheel is what I chose for this. And it's actually two and a half inches tall. And to mount this, these are one-quarter round by one inch lag bolt that I'm going to put through there. And it's going to go all the way through this board and just touch this plywood. I think the tip of it's going to go into there. Now, if I don't want to do that, I could put a fender washer on it that's, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick. I don't think they come an eighth of an inch thick, but that would keep it from poking into the plywood at all. But I'm not really worried about it. It's not going to go through for that. So let's get the wheels on this thing.
as you can see, I'm ready to put in the lag bolts for my casters, and I need to drill some pilot holes. So I think it's going to be easier for me to stand up over this to make sure that I get them in the right place. Okay, now that's marked. And I've been wanting to try this for a while. I mean, you can drill straight in and put maybe a piece of tape over here. Painter, um, blue painter's tape is fantastic for that to make a little flag so that you don't drill too far because you don't want to go all the way through. But my next project, I'm using dowels and I'm going to be hand drilling them. And I got this great drill block from, what is it, Miles Craft? And I thought, well, that would be fun to try it on here to practice drilling straight holes for that. Because, you know, with dowels, that's kind of critical. So let me get up and get over this. I'm using a 3 16th bit for these quarter screws on here. That worked out best. And it just happened to be a size that works with this. I can't see the hole through here, so I'm going to do it this way. And mark my middle and hold this by hand and see if that works or if I'm gonna have to put a clamp on it. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell a clamp is gonna work so much better, so let me grab one. And for a dowel, that's gonna be really important. You know, actually, you can just hand do these for all that it matters because it's just not nearly as critical and you don't have to drill as far through with those but for dowels yeah you're going to want to mark that and clamp it so let me get this in there and mark that That worked. Yay. All right, let's go ahead and finish getting this one in. Just to make sure I'm right about my thinking. And I'm gonna go without the washer because I don't think I'm gonna go through the plywood on this. All right. Go ahead and get this one going. And then I get the diagonal started, right? That's the way my dad taught me. Always go diagonally when you're putting things in. Well, I tell you, drilling that hole straight, I don't have to worry about it. I like that. And of course, you don't go all the way down yet until you get all four screws in. That's going to be my problem, child. That's one that I had to drill a hole right next to the other. You always have to have projects to practice on, right? Get your expectations in line with reality, and every now and then just go do something that's fun. It's not fine furniture. <laughs> All right, get this diagonal in. All right, there we go. All right, now this one I'm going to tighten. This one I'm going to tighten up, not down. Up. Tighten up means snug. Thumb tight. Yep. Good. I'm feeling all under here to make sure that there's no way in the world that I 
went through this plywood and I did not, so we're all good. And I got three more of them to go. Come on, Zach. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you happy? <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. <laughs> I think he likes his kennel. I think this is great. <laughs> oh, I think don't even have to worry about locking him in, huh? <laughs> Are you happy, Zach? Uh, I don't think he likes his kennel. Yeah? You ready? Come on out. <laughs> That's a good boy, Zach. That's a good boy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I see that tail wagon. And that's it. If you like easy builds like this, be sure to come over and visit me at heartwoodart.com and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you never miss any. And I'll see you in the shop. Isn't that right, Zach?